Good afternoon and welcome to Sunday Football here at Monica in Canberra for round 10 action between the Kangaroos, their home game up against the Sydney Swans who only have to come down the road two and a half hours, Dwayne Russell, but they are in good nick, the Sydney Swans. They're currently fourth on the ladder, six wins, three losses. They've won their last five in a row and they are on a roll. Yes, the reigning premiers coming to Canberra and a lot of fans have travelled down, but this is a semi-home game for the Kangaroos, of course, and they did beat the Sydney Swans in the first round of the NAB Cup, the Kangaroos, so they have got some reasonable form here. The Swans team, and they've made a change. Paul Williams hasn't come up fitness-wise, so one of their premiership players has come back in. That's when you know they're in good form. Dempster's been able to come back in, the Sydney Swans. In fact, 17 of this 22 have played every game this season. That's how settled they are. Dempster comes in as a premiership player. Have a look at the half-forward flank there as well, Adam Goods. He is in, well, let's call him AAA rating yes. form again. Now back to his Brownlow medal form. You've got a 6 foot 4 and a half, 6 foot 5 Brownlow medal sitting on a flank. Yeah. I mean, that is some strength Well, that's there. the good part about uh, recruiting. They've got Chambers and they've recruited Jolly in the last couple of years and uh, that has allowed them to play goods, not in the ruck, but wherever they'd like to play him. Die Rawlings will make their... Uh, well, the first time they'll go to AFL football and see the two boys playing yeah. alongside each other. Brady named in the centre there and Jade in the forward pocket. He'll take on the number 27 for the team. Three losses in a row, the worst start to the season for 16 years. Yeah, it's been a horrible start for the Kangaroos, but as we said, win today, they're back in touch. Absolutely. From the nation's capital, umpires this afternoon, Donlan, Kennedy and panel, and away we go. Hale taps it down, Kirk goes after it, so does Hale. That ball's not coming out, the 231's falling on top of it. Where's Hall dropping back? Archer's just trying to play that sixth or seventh defender number just to try and pick off the long one. Just he's going to try and play about 25 metres in front of Barry Hall, I'd say, and try and pick him up on the lead. He gets so much of his footy on a lead, Barry Hall. Dempster, a late inclusion for Williams from 60 metres out. Drives it on the breeze. That's a beautiful kick. Wonderful kick. The opening goal of the afternoon spectacular. That's so O'Keefe, he'll get it now, well worked out. The man closest to him for Sydney peeled off and took Rawlings with him. O'Keefe drives inside the 50, coming up on the lead O'Keefe, or was it O'Loughlin rather, who missed it. Buchanan behind it nicely, lays it off back to O'Loughlin. The kick a little untidy, going back with the flight of an O'Keefe. Kept his eye on the football, quick hand pass to Kirk. Kirk snaps, shot has got the carry. They've got their second. In opposition to Jade Rawlings. Ball back in Barry Hall's direction. Ed Swell's under the ball. Chip kick. He might get another opportunity here, Schneider. How should he start at their turn? From right. Okay. Out in front. He's heard you. He bounced it. He goes to Hall. One way than the other. That's a bit easier. Give it to the big man. Take the ball to ground and let the umpire ball it up. It's still played footy. McVeigh to Goods, threads it through nicely. Releases Ablett, 55 metres out. The kick is beautiful. Straight through the middle. You wonder why the heck Wells just didn't keep going and oh. send it long to the forward line. Or even just take them on himself. No one was yeah. going to catch him. High ball towards Jolly, got a hand to it. Over the top came Archer, thumped it back towards the 50. It was at Simpson. Simpson did the thumping. There's Archer doing a bit of thumping of his own. And Schneider is getting the free kick. I think he's more disciplined these days. He will look for a short because of the range. But given this breeze, he is not without a show here. No. A long kick. He's soaking up enough of the clock here that he might have to go them. Adam Schneider... Under a minute till quarter time. He'll kick from about 60. Oh, Sets it hit. high. Breeze grabs it, keeps it going. It goes forever. From that range or even further out, I can really make sure rather than... It's like a kick from 40 metres out for oh, him. Oh, out. On the bounce. In trouble, Davis. Picked up now by Rawlings, who snaps. And he gets their first goal. Well done, Jade. Get if, if they mark this footy, they're another shot at goal. Thompson on the lead. Harris has been good too. He goes in the Thompson direction and hits him. So distance, we know that now won't be a problem from here. 17 goals for the season. But eight came against Hawthorne, as Durham mentioned in round six. Thompson virtually 
Off a step, working it back right to left. It's good. Two quick goals to the Kangaroos. In business. Brady Rawlings over the top. Pratt. Harvey. Chip kick. Cameron Thurley gets on the end of it. Looping handball over the top. Back to Harvey. Rolls it towards goal. He might send it home. He does. Hanging out about a, a metre inside that right post should swing in Durham. Exactly what you said earlier. Pass it off. He's run himself out of position. Rawlings in front, hands to it, couldn't hang on. Richards a bit slow, taken down, picked up by Canelli. Bugs a run, has a bounce, going across the ground at this stage, in two mines, maybe three, and he's gone too oh. far. Well, actually, the umpire got him when he was stopped. How can you do that? Yeah. Oh, well, it's just for previous sins. Short one inside the 50, and the mark is taken by Grant against his old club. Here's Grant, right on the 50. Hasn't seen much of the footy, but slots it. It's calling for the leaders to come up. Goes long, goods the flyer, front spot, beautiful grab. So a realistic chance to go. Been doing a bit of work up here in Canberra in the last 12 months, Adam Goods, but all that work at Parliament House. Does some at the goal mouth to draw scores level here. Ruckman again, Chambers and McIntosh. Chambers uses the body on McIntosh, allowing Goods for the second occasion in succession to come over the top. Goods got the hand pass to Matthews. Goes down towards half forward, favoured by the bounce archer. Comes away, here's a chance for the Kangaroos right down the middle. Kick to half forward, Green missed it. Simpson got the crumb, pulls it back, Bacon goal square. Bounces through, brilliant football. Straight down the heart of the ground. And the Kangaroos might get another chance at goal. 90 seconds left. Long ball. Thompson flies. Not the second grab. Dropped it. Barry. Crouch. Spearing ball to Fosdyke. Danger Thompson. here. Corey Jones is Goods' opponent. Thompson slow to get up. Goods has got the football. Plays on from outside the 50 cents at long down. It's full forward. Hall at the back does a little pushing, then a little marking, then a little goaling. Not convinced about the fitness of Thompson at the moment either. Looking at that picture, there's our man again. Harris gets a kick away. Inside the 50, Hale comes up. Well, if he kicks a goal here... Is he going to be a strife there? We... Then he get demands, they wait. Well, as he made contact, they blew it, but he's kicked a goal. He's second. Does seem to be OK after that heavy landing. Late in the second term, Rawlings, it's going to be a free kick down there to Green. In he comes, has to kick hard and low, well he's done it. Casey Green gets the goal. Who's on the boundary line, they need to be about three up at three-quarter time, Sydney, with this breeze to make this an even-money game. Jolly, dumps it down, there's a free kick, and it'll go the Kangaroos' way. Another double whammy against oh, the Swans. That's, that's 50. Oh. Oh. Against Goods. And that will bring them within range. That is like a 100 metre penalty here. Into this, into the breeze. Watch Ooh. this, just a little sling. Into the breeze. Oh, you may as well have been 100 out where he was kicking from. And now it's just a matter of steering. Daniel Harris. What was that? Three goals for the year so far, and a chance to make it two in a row to start this third term against the Breeze. Big kick. Ninth kick coming up. His clearances have been sensational this Good afternoon. Boy. So too his goal kicking. And the Kangaroos will take some stopping now. There's the anvil. Overlap. Pushing to space, Brady Rawlings. Now he can go, he can run down to the 50 unless somebody comes across on the angle. Dempster is reluctant to do that and then put himself in no man's land. And Watt's got the football. He just had his arms out. Derman was doing nothing. There goes Watt. Long ball. Don't tell me they might have kicked another one. Chambers on the line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a goal. Three against the breeze. It's a three-goal breeze. <laughs> sort of. 
Pokes it inside, 50 to the lead. Nathan Thompson starts at left. Give right off chance. Him, comes back on the breeze. Oh. He's got it. Wow. Massive kick this. Starts at left. Jeez. It's not coming back quickly enough. It hasn't got the fly anyway. Barry Hall weaves some magic. They're alive. He's got three. Yerim decides to run inside the centre square, kicks a high ball to centre-half forward, off hands, crashing in there was Jones, Ablett breaks away though, Ablett past the centre circles to half forward, it's dropped there by Jude Bolton, slips a hand pass away to McVeigh, McVeigh long towards full forward, it's a goal. Barry pops it inside the centre square to Craig Bolton, Running hard now is Hall. Why not go in that direction? Hall takes the mark, forward of the wing. Plays on immediately. Matthews on the overlap. Sydney oh. looking better. Here's Buchanan. 55 metres out, Buchanan. The breeze grabs it and takes it home. His absolute best. He's been very good this afternoon. Kicks from 45. Now complete about five metres out. The mark is taken by Petrie. Worth its weight in goal. Yes. That could be the defining mark of the match. The knee buckler. He's got this five metres out then. You would expect him to kick it. And if he does, the margin will be 16 points. Petrie comes in, gets the goal. Well done, Kangaroos. I'll take it all back. Roberts Thompson across the ground. Dennis, Where do we stand on that? Dennis, he put the knee drop into him. Yeah, I know, but I, I like the knee drop. You know that. <laughs> it's a great finishing move. Bolted inside the forward 50. Oh. And Hall comes up. Gee, flat ball coming in on the breeze. That is a very good pluck. Yeah. On the 50. Kicks. Tight. Home. It's a goal. He's got four. The word to himself. Comes in, sets it on its way. He's missed comprehensively. It's still a live ball. Off hands, Hall. Snapped a couple today. He snapped another one. He's got five. Just about the home. Petrie and Jolly. Petrie tried to rip it out of the air. Hail got a shot away. All hail, hail. High bomb. Under it, Thompson. Forced to punch. Kirk. Oh. Shrugs the tackle, shrugs two of them. Craig Bolton got a handball out. Ablett ran 16. Handball okay to Crouch. Back to Ablett. If he can kick it wide, they've got the spare man. Barry Hall around the body. Oh, Lachlan. Oh. He's dropped it. Goes back. Gets it. Gets around Gibson. Goals it. Oh, what a game. The crowd on the edge of their seat. Matthews kicks smothered by his own man. Ricochets to Thurley, caught, Simpson, Grant, can he get it from there, lines it up, he goes it, he's got two. Interesting, Harris has just sprinted to the middle again, swallows off the ground, Harris 10 clearances, number four in the foreground, but I doubt he'll get this one, in fact the opposite number four got it to Kirk. Matthews almost got it back, but Buchanan has it. Goes to Schneider. There's a whistle. Advantage will be paid. Kirk, little chip down towards half forward Kennelly. And you're not the reigning premier because you go away quietly into the night, albeit a cold night or a cold afternoon. Sydney are still coming. There's O'Keefe, 55 metres from goal. The margin 11 well, points. Got a split. Doesn't up for him. Still plenty of time. O'Keefe will just set this up towards the kickoff line. Hall wrestles. Oh, he's a star. Oh, come up for the hour, come up for man. He is a star. Looked very much like a one-handed to meet him. <laughs> uh, how about that? Got a bit of the jumper of his opponent. It's absolutely grounds Lee Brown. Still got to kick the goal, shouldn't have any problems, but still has to. Going at number six, Barry Hall throws them a lifeline. Sydney still in this up to their neck. Well, Brett Kirk figured in the 
clearance out of the centre there. He becomes the Sydney Swans' most important with Jude Bolton working in tandem, those two, underneath the hands of Jolly. Thereafter, <laughs> thereafter, Barry Hall. In times of need, you just go to your stars. Barry Hall. The only other thing he could have done, Lee Brown, was get a steel chair from the crowd, I think. <laughs> Beat him over the head. 12 kicks, three handballs, seven marks, six goals. Barry Hall, and he might be a chance to get another one. Jolly gets the take away. O'Keefe! He's too far out. He'll look for Hall. Oh, space will open up for Hall. Yeah. Well, now that he's taken his time, the gaps have closed. Hale runs down. Barry Hall leads short. He thought about it. He took a step. O'Loughlin's in the goal square. That's his option now. O'Loughlin, he flies from four deep. Ball thumped down. Lewis Roberts Thompson doesn't really know what goalposts are at the attacking end. Buchanan. Petrie dives in. Kirk with him. Topoke off the deck. And the ball trickles out of play. It's a five point margin in favour of the Kangaroos. Inside 50s this quarter, they have doubled the Kangaroos. Who said there was a breeze advantage? Boundary throw in. Kangaroos by five points. Buchanan slots it across to McVeigh. Slick hands. Fosdyke hard against the boundary line. Goes looking for Hall again. Schneider working at the back. Petrie arrives, lacking support. Roberts Thompson could have been pushed to the back. Down goes Schneider. Chance for O'Keefe. Archer missed him. O'Keefe is through. And he's kicked the goal. And Sydney lead by a point. What hard work can do for you? What choices are to be made by the coaches now? Kirk and Bolton and Ablett, all in the centre. Really, it, still, whoever wins the centre bounce clearance basically is going to win this game. Either way, and they stick with Harris and Rawlings and Simpson, the Kangaroos. Brilliant leg strength from Ryan O'Keefe. When you can shrug an archer tackle, you know you've got leg strength. One point the difference. Four minutes 33 remaining. The Kangaroos still have the breeze, but it doesn't seem to matter. Buchanan brought down by Make Peace. Jude Bolton about to get caught. Fosdyke, the reigning premiers. Can they hold on? Diving on Lachlan. Got it up to O'Keefe. Sends it towards Barry Hall. Almost. Off hands. Schneider spins out of trouble and goes. Oh. can send them inside 50, high ball, Grant's on his own! It's a seven point margin, he runs around, he starts at left, he may not even score, he's hit the behind post, and it's out of bounds on the full, the worst of all possible kangaroo options. And perhaps the worst bloke of the team to kick it back. Can't just give the ball to the opposition. After the boundary throw and they clog it up again, Sydney. They're masters of doing this, but he's a master of getting it out, Harris, but that time straight to Buchanan. And you sense their home, this one's Hall. Thumps it forward. Will he find the boundary line? It bounces and pulls up like a nine iron. That's a rare Archer upended. And the ball is out of bounds now. Ten seconds. And this is a game they have stolen from the Kangaroos. Simply, their will has prevailed. You couldn't script this one. Uh, it's been a terrific game. Sydney have been wonderful. The Kangaroos have been brave. And Canberra has seen the best game of football, I'd venture to say, they've seen. And I think he knows that this is one he didn't expect to win a three-quarter time. It may have been his address that has sparked this comeback. We heard from Robbo. Jolly knocks it down. There's the siren, and they will celebrate. It's not a grand final celebration, but still, they know they have done something special this afternoon. A game that was lost has been reclaimed by the reigning premiers, the Sydney Swans. In no small measure, thanks to that man, Barry Hall, six goals, and that man who was inspired to start the final term, the Brownlow medalist, 
Adam Goods. Wonderful game of football. Five goals to two into the breeze in the last quarter. The Kangaroos did the job in the third quarter working into the breeze in the first half. Both sides scored prolifically going to the other end with the breeze. So what a reversal of fortunes. Just a match that you could not script. You could not work out the plot. That man again. I tell you what, when you talk about big name recruits that have gone from team to team, if you had if if you had the benefit of hindsight, you'd pay Barry Hall double to get to Sydney, wouldn't you? What yes. they've you know, and he's been expensive to get there in terms of what he's cost them. Well, you could argue they wouldn't have won the flag without him. 